this is Garnet, back together. And I'm never going down at the hands of the likes of you because I'm so much better. And every part of me is saying, go get her. The two of us ain't gonna follow your rules. Come at me without any of your fancy tools. Let's go, just be in you. Let's go, just one on Also, just a note, since a lot of this is more or less self-explanatory or like, it's, like, it's kind of relatively simple. I do talk a bit about the universe, but like you're on a Steven Universe video, so I don't know what you're expecting. But yeah, let's just get right into the video. So I'm just gonna go on with this little sample size of um, a brow pomade that's like a garnet-ish color, like I think it's like an auburn color. And I'm just gonna go in and do my eyebrows with it. The plan actually was to do blue and red eyebrows, but there were no blue pomades out there. So this is what we're left with right now. I think it's better too than to have to Swip, swip, swap, flip, flop on alternating colors. Just keep it consistent, you know? You can't even see it, honestly. I tried to lighten my brows so that the color would come out more, but it didn't quite come out the way I wanted to. And I wasn't gonna block out my brows just for this video. Okay, that's kind of one brow. I'm gonna do the brow off camera and then be right back with the eye look. Okay, eyebrows are done. They still look kind of black, but you know what? It's fine. Hopefully, it'll just be more visible in the other pictures. Um, so now I'm gonna go on to my eyes. This powder has been baking for way too long because I wanted to get everything done before I started this, but whatever, whatever. Basically, what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be doing, what do you call it, dual eye? I can't think of what it's called. Um, basically, we're gonna have two different colored eyes, but we're gonna have them like mesh together by like having one eye color red, one eye color blue, obviously. And like the bottom lash line is gonna be like the opposite color so that it kind of ties together and doesn't look completely crazy. So we're gonna just start with the easy one. We're gonna go with my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna start with the red side because that's just easier. I don't think I'm gonna add a lot of depth into it, just like a little bit, just to kind of get the idea because that's not the super main focus of the face, just a little bit. But I'm gonna go in with red ochre right over here and just put that all over one crease. I'm kind of going for like a smoky eye look. It's like a red smoky eye, a blue smoky eye. I should have probably put down transition color, but we've just, we've gotten full force in. So let's just roll with it. You know, this is actually kind of like really deep. I think I'm gonna try to lighten it up a little bit with some pink from the same palette. So I'm gonna go on with Love Letter and just try to Blend that out a smidgen. I think part of the problem is that all these shadows mix together. So I feel like um, the brown color kind of got into everything, but you know, it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll find a way. So I'm actually just gonna take a flat brush and go on with red ochre and just put that all over my lid so it's really red and pigmented. It's just gonna be a real basic eye look. I think I should blend that out a smidgen bit more, just a smidgen bit. So I'm gonna take Rossiya from the ABH palette Get onto my brush and just use that to blend this out a little bit more so it just doesn't look like a bunch of red on my eye, which it is, but it doesn't need to look like that, you know? You feel? Look, I just thought I had more colors than I actually do in real life to do this look, and I realized how little deep reds and blue blues I have, so we're just we're doing what we can here. Next, I'm gonna just jump into this eye and do the blue. So for blue, I think I'm gonna start with the Aquarius color, which fun fact, I am an Aquarius, but this is from the Caffeine Lights Zoyette palette with ColourPop. So I'm just taking Aquarius all over a fluffy brush and putting that all over my crease area. So let's talk while, while I get this done. So I was recently listening to the Stevie Universe podcast and I've seen the jokes all over like, Steven Universe meme accounts, which I don't follow, but it's just on my explore page, like, whatever. But I heard Rebecca Sugar talking about how it was such a battle for Garnet to be where she is and to be Garnet because it's essentially a lesbian relationship and I guess a kids network didn't want that broadcasted all over TV because we're still being sensitive to things that should just be normal at this point. But she was talking about what an uphill battle it was. By the way, I'm going in with a blue color now. I'm going to be taking my Sephora Pro palette. I'm actually gonna go in with this periwinkle shade and deepen it up a little bit. Sorry, I keep getting off track. But anyway, so she's talking about what a battle it was to get to where 
Garnet is now because Cartoon Network didn't want it there. But then they finally acknowledged Ruby and Sapphire as a couple, like on Valentine's Day or whatever. And it was just such a like win for her, which is great. However, today I saw a post that they're gonna be selling like Garnet merch, so, like Ruby and Sapphire and Garnet and the proceeds are supposed to go to a charity, which is the Trevor Foundation, which I'm not 100% sure what it is. Cause at first I thought it was a suicide charity, but now I'm thinking maybe it's for gay kids. Let me just, let me, let me look into this before I ignorantly spew my mouth. Spew to my mouth. Okay, yeah, so it's like a hotline for LGBTQ like kids and like it's great that they're giving into the giving to a charity. By the way, now I'm going in with this shade over here that is blurry, but I don't have the arm strength to focus it. Okay, there. But when I read the post, there was like a picture at the bottom saying like, here's the conditions of this like charity. And you know, for every, whatever they sell during this time and this time, they're gonna be given to this charity. However, they're only giving a cap amount of $25,000, which is a lot. And I'm sure the people there are will appreciate it, but my question is, why is there even a cap amount? Like, why are you limiting? Why is there a maximum amount that you can donate? Why can't you just donate as much as people want to buy to support this cause? Like, why, why is there just a limit is my question. I don't understand. And it's like fresh off of me listening to the podcast where not that they are being homophobic, but that they just weren't ready to jump on board to support like Ruby and Sapphire. And like, I just, I don't understand why there needs to be a limit as to how much you're donating. Like, you're, it's not like they're like losing money because they're not giving 100% of the proceeds to this Trevor project. They're just giving like a percentage of it. So why don't, I just feel like Cartoon Network could be doing more. And maybe I shouldn't be trash talking Cartoon Network when it'd be great for them to see this, this, this video. But I'm just, there's just something on my mind and I feel like it's something that we should, that I should, not that I should be addressing with that I just want to address because I just feel like it's important and I don't know why I just don't know why there's a limit honestly um so this bag's been on my face for way too long I'm gonna dust it off now because it needs to get off my face now for the under eyes I am gonna take a small smudgy brush and I think I will take red ochre and go on, my, on this side so I'm just gonna dip into red ochre again and just Smoke that out under my waterline. This kind of could also low key be an American look, but it's not. I'm also gonna, since I'm not really doing liner for this look, I'm gonna try to bring it out as like the wing for this side. The way I have the eyeshadow on, it's kind of like winged out a little bit. So I'm gonna try to outline that wing with the opposing color. I don't know if opposing is the right word, but you know, just the opposite color. Okay, and now because I'm lazy, I'm just gonna just do this to the same brush. Or I should use a different brush, that would be smart too. So I'm gonna use this brush. Um, I'm gonna go into my Sephora Pro palette, and I'm gonna take that blue shade we used all over our eyelids. It's called Dina, I believe. And just take that on this little brush. Continuing on what I said, don't get me wrong. I still love Steven Universe. I still think it's great that Cartoon Network, you know, is still putting out a show like that and that, you know, they greenlit an episode like Reunited. Like, it's important for kids who are in that community to see stuff like that. You know, this is a new kind of generation and these are this is the kind of content that needs to be out, honestly. I'm just going in with an angled brush with that blue color to kind of do that same liner effect with this side of my eye. It's kind of coming out duller than I want to. I think I'm gonna mix in a bit of the color next to it, which is Chris, and this thing is falling. Just to brighten it up a bit. Ooh, that's kind of harsh. I need to, that needs to tone down a little bit. Um, relax, stop that. We don't want it to be like super harsh. It just needs to kind of like fit into each other. Whatever, whatever. Now I'm going to go in with my little Alchemist palette that blends in with my wall. I'm gonna clean off the brush I used for my under eye. And what are we gonna start with? We're gonna go in with blue sapphire over here and use that to highlight the brow bone on this side of my face. So right over here. It kind of is dumb because you can't see it unless you hit, a start, hit the light a certain way, but it's there. I think I'll add a few layers of it because I also noticed that when you add more layers, it's a little bit more visible, but it's, it's gonna be hard to see regardless. In a very ghetto way, I'm just gonna clean my brush and 
go into the pink color, which is opal, which is weird because opal in the show is not really pink, but that's, I digress, that's not the point. We're gonna go on this side. Also, this is not a pink side of the eye, but there's not really red highlighters, so pink's gonna have to do. I bought these little adhesive things from Walmart. I'm gonna use this in my inner corner. I think I'll highlight it a little bit just to give them some kind of a base to stick to. But like basically the jewels are gonna be my inner corner highlight pretty much. And same concept, I'm gonna go with the opposite color. Ah, I hate when I do that. I got powder in my eye. Okay, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I see inner corner hi highlights better. Or I see the colors and colored highlight is better when it's in my inner corner, but that might be just me. I'm also bringing it a little bit into my waterline just to like sort of blend it. Not really, this is not very blendable. I'm gonna clean it and get away again and then go on with the blue. Go in the opposite eye. Ah, that's green. No, not today. Inner corners are highlighted, so now I'm gonna go in with these little adhesives. I don't know what size I'm gonna go for. I think I'm gonna do the second medium size probably. And I'm gonna just use whatever color is the opposite of the base color. So like these reds are gonna go in this eye, the blues are gonna go in this eye. You get the idea. These are basically self-adhesive gems. So hopefully they'll stay without me needing to put on any eyelash glue. Ooh, yes, that's the look. That's the look I want. Ooh, ooh, yes, yes, that's what I want. I look cross-eyed right now. Like, I don't think I put these on evenly or symmetrically. So now I'm gonna take this Milk Makeup Face Stamp. And this one's in the shape of a star, and since, you know, Garnet is a crystal gem, then we gotta do a star somewhere. These things freak me out though, because if I bend it the wrong way, then a little circle comes up, and like, that's not, that's not all you want. I'm basically gonna put the star, like, in the center underneath my eyes. Hopefully it's not too much with these gems, but we'll see. Ooh, maybe too much, but I've already committed, so I gotta, gotta keep going. So now I'm just gonna try to draw the stars in my face. So basically, this is the look I'm aiming for. You can't really see it well, but we're gonna just... Yeah, I don't know, just draw a star on the side of my face. So I'm gonna try to follow this face map that I made for myself and draw on the star, which hopefully I can do because sometimes drawing stars from here are hit or miss. If my camera dies midway and I come back with stars on my face, then there you go. Oh, that's already at the wrong angle. But that's why we use white, so we can erase it, kind of. Okay, that was a little, oh, it's a lot less cute, but we just gotta go one more time. Oh, this is not as big as I wanted it to be. Um, since my, my camera wants to be a big crybaby, I'm gonna mix the colors off camera while I let it charge, and I will be right back. We move on. So like I said, I'm, ooh, okay, I have my, most of my mixed paints here. Some of them I'm just gonna grab straight from the pan. I did use this Makeup Forever flash palette to mix them, and I'm gonna grab, like I said, straight from the pan to put some of the colors on but I'm kind of going off of this chart um I'll insert a picture somewhere maybe over my face of where my inspiration is coming from so basically if you watch Steven Universe you know that just follow along with me if you don't but gems can reform which basically means they can change how they look and there's a way that Garnet looks when the show first came out and then kind of in the middle how she looks now currently this star is on her face not on her face this is on my face this star is on her Clothes, we'll say. They don't really have clothes, but I'm not gonna get into that. But it's on her clothes and it's in three different colors, but the colors change after she reforms basically. So my plan was to just copy the colors that were on her outfit and to have them mesh and blend into each other. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna start with the outer one, which is probably a bad idea because it's black. So now that I think of it, maybe I should start with the inside part first. I don't know. Oh my God, look how sad that star looks. It's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna just start with this little brush. So I'm gonna take this palish red color first and trace this sad part of the star. Oh, this star looks so bad. I think I'm gonna try to fix it now. You know what I should have done? I should have drawn the first outline of the star and then wiped my foundation off on the rest. That would have been a good idea, but it's too late now. We're so far in, we just gotta commit. Okay, so that's the outline of the first star. I'm gonna... Use a small-ish flat brush to kind of color it in as well so I don't get like lost in the sauce. Yeah, I just said that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for that. Um, I don't know 
how far I should take this down because now it just looks like not a star, it just looks ridiculous. But whatever. Okay, I'm gonna just, uh, so my plan of action here maybe is to have them at the tip or at this point. Okay, it's focused on my wish. I think my plan here, if it wants to focus on my face, thank you, is to have them it's to have them kind of blend at this tip over here, maybe a little bit more depending on where the center is. So I'm gonna color in my face and just blend it out towards where the center would be. And now, what color am I going in with? I'm going in with a straight red color, I guess. Is that right? Hold on, there's my eyelash on my phone. Yeah, okay, so I have a paper towel nearby. It's not gonna really help much, but it's gonna help enough to get what I need done. You know, we don't wanna make paints together. You don't wanna ruin the paints like that. So I'm dipping into red and I'm gonna, oh, this is so bad. I would start from the bottom, but I also wanna redraw this ugly star. See, I used a white, I didn't tell you what I was using when I was drawing it, but I used a white crayon so it could easily wipe away. Oh, that looks so much better. But I wanted to easily wipe away so that it's kind of like, you know, like a pencil to erase my mistakes. Okay. It's more or less what I would like it to be. I was gonna, I should have, what I should have done, what I wanted to do was start from here and then work up so it can blend in so that the harsh pigment isn't right here. But I need to redraw the straw, straw, the star. So I had to go from here. Sorry for looking at the, the viewfinder. I like don't know when it's in focus on us. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on it. And I'm also trying to indicate with my face. Um, but I'm just gonna try to blend these together. Maybe I'm gonna dip into this pale shade a little bit so that it'll kind of blend together better. I'm gonna try to define this point that goes into my face because it just looks sloppy and not cute. And yes, I'm going into my, this sideburn, but whatever. I'm literally gonna take a shower after this to wipe this off because this crap is just a lot. It's just a lot. Yeah, into my ear. It's fine, it's, it's a little star, whatever, whatever. This is just, we're just rolling with it, man. We're just going with it. It just looks like a lot on the white side because I pulled this really high, but I just, I don't, this is just, this is hard, man. I took, I, so I took some on my brush and dabbed off the excess and I'm just doing this. I don't know why I'm explaining it, like someone's gonna recreate this. Like if someone does, it's awesome. Like please, please tag me, but I feel like I'm spending a lot of time explaining what I'm gonna do when this is, no one's really gonna recreate this. Maybe we can sacrifice it. We'll see. Let's just let's just keep going and see how, how the rest turns out and if I wanna we'll see. I'm just gonna show you the colors I made up. I'm gonna take this color. It's pink pretty much. I don't know what more to say. And that is gonna go on the top here. I don't wanna keep doing this high hairline that I did. Like I actually wanna like some off. Um we'll just copy this line for now and then see what happens. Precise brush that I'm tracing over with a really chubby stick. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this purpley, I call it my garnet shade. It's a berry shade, I guess. Um, I'm going back in with my fatter brush, cotton candy pink. Is this cotton candy pink? I'm calling it cotton candy pink color. Oh, fucking baby hairs. I'm gonna have paint in my hair for a while, but it's fine. It's fine. So you want them to mix together, but not with the other colors. No, my hard work. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. I hope this turns out the way I wanted it to in my head. I've been planning this look for months, maybe a year, maybe more. I don't know. I guess I'll fix, I'll fix this after. I'm gonna just focus on my middle star for now. I really have to make this way off my face so that I can't see it, didn't I? Okay, so anyways, like I was saying before I got sidetracked with my own thoughts. Um, okay, I was, you know, I was bashing on Steven Universe a little bit earlier, but you know, just because Cartoon Network did one marketing thing I don't agree with doesn't mean I don't appreciate all that they did. But like, funny story, I used to hate, I used to think I hated Steven Universe. I like, granted, I never watched it, but like from the previews, I was like, this is a really stupid kid shit. Like, this is like, com like, TV content, children's content is going down the drain. Then there was like YouTubers 
Like I watch animation channels, not channels that like do anime and story times. I mean, I watch those too, but that's not what I'm talking about. I used to, I like watch channels where they're kind of cartoonists and they appreciate like the art of animation, I guess you could say. And like one of them got me into Gravity Falls, which is like, it was just cute. Cause it's like really, ooh, mysteries. And like, you know, everything is so well thought out. And I thought that was really cool, which is, you know, foreshadowing if you know Steven Universe. And because I trusted him with Gravity Falls and I did like enjoy Gravity Falls, I like the aspect of like how, ooh, that's not the right color. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. But I like the concept of how well thought out it was and how the fans could kind of get involved and take clues that he blatantly was putting out for it. I just, I liked the show, I thought it was good, and because that YouTuber strayed me in the right direction, he started talking about Steven Universe, and I was a little hesitant at first, but he talked about it a little, and I was kind of intrigued, so I started watching, and then, you know, I kind of knew you had to get over, like, this gap of, of, of crap, and that it gets better, it's kind of like The Office, honestly, and so I did it, and now I'm freaking obsessed with the show, and it's possibly my new favorite thing since Harry Potter, which is saying a lot if you know me in real life. Um, but yeah, that's my statement. I'm standing by it. So it's like, I don't, I know I was trash talking Cartoon Network a little bit earlier, but I do love the show. I'm glad Cartoon Network put out something like that because it's really great. I feel like I can't breathe doing this. I'm like <laughs> taking deep breaths. I'm not breathing as I'm doing it. It's very tense. I'm wondering if I'm gonna have to outline it in black so it stands out more, but one of the colors is black, so I don't know how that would work. We'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, which is very soon. Okay, this, I know I'm getting everything in my hair, but if I could not get in my bangs, that would be wonderful. Instead of going in with the black right away, I'm gonna try to do this bottom color here, because once I go in that black, there's no turning back. Maybe I should do the outlining with everything, but whatever. We're just gonna go in. Okay, let's talk more about TV Universe. I love the Asian cast. I'm here for it. I love that a show I love so much is so Asian based. I've always said it or it's never bothered me that there weren't a lot of Asian people in Hollywood because I feel like that's more of an issue for Asian kids in the mainland who feel like maybe bullied like out of place because you know, there's not a lot of Asians in the mainland, but I've I was lucky enough to be an Asian in an Asian dominant community. Like, honestly, like I love, I've always been proud of being Asian, but that doesn't mean I don't want to see Asians thriving in large media content like this. And so the fact that I love this show so much and has like a lot of Asian cast members, it's really great. Amethyst is Korean, I want to say, which is great. Um, I really thought that Dee Dee Magno Hall was like Chinese or something, but come to find out she's Filipino, which is interesting, like still Asian, but I don't know. And her, finding out that she's Filipino makes a little bit of sense to me because I thought she really looked Chinese to me, but I also look Chinese. So maybe that explains why some Filipino woman, old Filipino woman at work think that I'm also Filipino when I'm just not at all. I like that they made Lars Filipino. That was a cool little, little thing. Cause he made an ube roll cake. And like someone said in a Steven Universe podcast, like, you know, no, no Filipino kid has seen people make ube on like big screen TV before. And like, that's so true. I mean, not that I've, I'm Filipino, I've had that problem, but like, you know, I think it was cute for the Filipino kids out there. Like, oh look, ube. I don't like ube, but I just, I'm here for the inclusivity, you know? And like, especially when he went into space. Oh yeah, sorry, like spoiler alerts if you haven't seen the show, but like keep up if you're gonna be watching this. But when he went into space and they're like, Lars is missing, like Lars who? And like, they said that like Filipino name. I was like, wow, that's, that's, that's a cool thing that, you know, this is, he's just Filipino and that's just, you know, it's such a casual thing. Not that being Filipino isn't casual, but like, I don't know, just, I feel like in TV, they kind of make it a big deal when you're like the Asian one. More specifically, I've been thinking about how they make the Asian people in sitcoms like the stupid like ones. Like, look in the good place, Jason Mendoza is an idiot. Um, in Superstore, the Hawaiian local one, the like she is like the butt of the joke, which I don't really appreciate, but whatever. And then like this new show I've been watching, Single Parents, they made also made the Asian guy like this like dumb young kid, which I whatever. 
but yeah I like that it was just you know he's not a part of the joke and he's actually a main character for development but yeah I guess if I look at the picture it's like weird because when before she reforms it's like defined the colors are kind of like defined by each other like there's like a black outline to like differentiate it but it's not like that when she reforms so I don't know okay okay I can I can live with that maybe this isn't quite the way I want it to look but it just looks so weird if I don't define it I'm gonna just attempt to save battery. I'm gonna do this outline off camera and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I finished the outline and I also added some eyelashes on and I thought you guys would enjoy this. I like did this by accident and because this paint transfers so much, it just went to my shoulder. Okay, so last few steps are pretty much almost done here. Um, I don't really wanna contour. I just feel like it's just, I mean, maybe it's the look to do, but I don't feel like that's the vibe. Um, what I'm actually gonna do instead is I'm just gonna strobe really hard to kind of get a similar contour, not a contoured effect, but just, you know, have the cheeks pop out enough. Me. Okay. So, like I said before, we're not really necessarily going for like a symmetrical thing here. And since I don't really have a reddish contour shit, and since this face is taken over by all the reds in my face, um, I'm just gonna go in with the same highlighting palette and go in with the shade Sapphire and just highlight the hell out of the side of my face. I'm gonna just use the monitor to as a mirror. Cause whatever, you know? I just noticed how many of these products I'm using that are from a brand that I no longer choose to support financially. So like, damn, when all my shit runs out, what am I gonna do then? I feel like maybe I should add some blush. This is a lot of blue, and I know it's a lot of red and pink, but this is a lot of blue. We'll see how I feel. I think I'm gonna just go in with the lipstick and see how I feel with the whole look if I wanna add any touches or anything. So, since I'm drawing inspiration more from Reformed Garnet, like we wanna draw more from that look than in the other form of her, I'm gonna take a lipstick that is also hiding somewhere. So I'm gonna take a dose of colors, bury me, just behind on. But it's not even in focus again. Are you freaking kidding me? Maybe it's a bit much, but this is the psychotic, homeless, crazy look I guess I'm going for and I'm sticking with. Anyways, this is my Steven Universe um, Garnet inspired look. Garnet is my birthstone and it's one of the first ideas I had for a Steve Universe series or look for a series and I, I kind of like how it turned out. I just miss doing avant-garde looks. This was really fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you weren't totally bored by me talking about Steve Universe and just very passionate about that show. And if you do like Steve Universe, if you're like a fan and somehow found this video, I don't know, somehow, some way, and you like this look and you want to see me do other gems, just like comment down below, let me know what you want to see me do. I do have some ideas for the gems I want to do, like the diamonds and rose quartz before things happened, if you know what I mean. Yeah, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. I know I've been really absent, but I'm going to try my best to be back and at it again. And I really hope you guys like this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.